Hello players, happy new year. Welcome to another video on App Wars. In this video, we'll explain everything you need to know about the off-chain, on-chain bridge. So, moving into, if you want to play App Wars, you have now this special feature which is which is free to play, which allows you to correct allows you to collect resources from the Arcadia worlds. So if you go into the Arcadia, you'll notice that you will have these daily rewards that you can actually collect. So if you have Warland in your wallet, you will be able to collect these resources uh, every day, and these resources are cumulative. However, if you want to do this, you need to have your tokens off-chain in order to enjoy your free-to-play. So yes, initially you do have to spend some currency, some tokens in order to buy Warland. Still, pretty much like any other free-to-play or play-to-earn games, you will be earning rewards and using that initial acquisition to be able to play freely within the game. So how do you do this? You have different steps that you have to take. So first step, you'll go into the bridge and need to make sure that you are understanding what you see here. You have two options for tokens, which are tokens on the Binance Smart Chain, or game items that you have already selected and probably have created them by using your War Courage. If you select tokens first, you'll notice and if you have not done so in beforehand, you'll notice that you will be asked for approval because it requires the Guardian's approval. As you can see, Warland has already been approved and at the moment is the only one that is approved in this wallet for demonstration purposes. So here, if you want to move Warland to off-chain, you will have a one fee, so one token per package that you want to send. And you can actually send multiples of 100 and the fee will be one percent so if you send in this example 100 you'll be having 99 off chain for you to play the same goes for the game items but as you can see this requires auto Dal dalgor's approval how do you do this simple just go into inventory guardians and here you'll find auto. Scrolling down, you'll see that yes, Warland has already been approved, but the remaining tokens have not. So choose wisely which are the tokens that you want to send off chain. And at the moment, you don't need to send them all. You just have to select the tokens that you want to send. And we highly recommend that you send at least Warland off chain so that you can receive the bonuses from the work, so basically workers on a daily basis and you can collect the resources that will be needed for you to build your foundations. So the difference lies here and it's worth uh, pointing out. All of the game items, so all of the shields, potions, everything, workers, everything that is in the game, you only need to prove it once because it's a game item, okay? It's a different contract. And inside this game contract, you can have a lot of, let's say, game items. They're not tokens, okay? So for these tokens, since each of these tokens are have a different contract, you will have to sign all the transactions independently, okay? If you want to actually send them, okay? So at the moment, again, you only need to send Warland in order to be able to collect these precious resources that you'll find here. So then you go to the bridge. You see that's already been approved. And also if you have game items that you want to send off chain, you can already do that by selecting the game items here. In this wallet, we don't have any game items for us to, to, um, to send, but still the uh, fee is 1% at the moment. You can send up to 10 of these blocks. So let's say one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then five more tokens. Okay. So you can send more packages. Okay. Don't forget that because you can 
actually select more of these. So you have on each transaction that you will be sending, you can send up to 10 of these packages. Okay, so then you have to consent and approve your transfer. If you have any other doubts, feel free to contact, uh, to contact us on Discord, Telegram, and also you have this pretty nice Medium article which has everything that we've just explained. Please notice that once you send the items, so in this case, the tokens off chain, these tokens will be locked inside the contract. So no more tokens will be minted. The max cap for Warland is 800,000 Warlands. The, all of the tokens that have already, uh, that have their minting and their max cap, for, for example, Wargold uh, has its max cap almost being reached. Uh, so once it's reached, no more Wargold war will be minted and the tokens that you send off chain will be locked in the contract. So that means that if you want to retrieve your tokens back to on chain, you will switch the direction that you want to send. It will be recognized on that contract, which tokens you have sent to that contract and you'll be able to claim them back minus the fee, of course. So every time that you do this, it's safe. You have a contract as a, your middle thing, so your middleman, and no more items will be minted off chain. So the number of tokens that have been minted on chain are the number of tokens that will be available off chain for everyone to play. No hidden behind the, the, the curtains things. So no magic here. Everything is dealt with using smart contracts. Again, feel free to contact us on our socials, Twitter, Telegram, Discord, or even leave your thumbs up in this video if you enjoyed the content and leave your doubts below. As always, Conquerors, see you on the next one.